Hi everybody, I have a peg doll tutorial to share with you today. Today we're going to be working on hair and I'm using this book by Margaret Bloom called Making Peg Dolls and More for Inspiration. So these are the little peg dolls that we're going to be using today. and We're going to be doing a couple different techniques for the hair. But first I want to draw on a little face using a pencil. You can also leave the, the faces blank if you'd like. And I'm just checking the grain of my peg doll so that I can get a symmetrical looking face and when you see your peg dolls you'll understand when you look at the the top you can see the grain of the wood kind of going in a circular motion. So I'm just going to place these eyes far and wide and a very small little mouth. Now it doesn't look like she's smiling and after I've recorded this video I've actually come back in and made her look a little bit more happy. So we're going to do the hair. And we're going to begin by rolling around several lengths of this white yarn. It is some lamb's pride and it is the worsted weight. And I'm going to start by putting a little bit of hot glue at the very top of the peg doll. And then I'm going to put the yarn, trying to put the tip of the yarn into the glue so that none of the fibers start to come apart. Also, it looks a little bit nicer when this is all done. Now, we're gonna be doing a couple different techniques for hair, and this one, we're not gonna be putting anything on top of it. So we want the yarn to look good without having to cover it up. So we wanna be mindful of not having any glue show, and we wanna make it look as natural as possible. And we also don't want any of the peg doll, the head, to show. So I'm gonna go through doing multiple layers of hair for this one. It is the longest of all of the different techniques because you have to keep putting in more and more layers so that it looks as natural as possible. If you can see in the back here, I've done one straight line across, and that doesn't look natural at all. At this point, you could actually stop and put a little bandana over the hair, and it would be totally fine. But we're going to continue working on this. Something else that's going to make this easier is that this is just single ply yarn, and I do like the bulky and the worsted but the the bulky is especially nice and this is just the worsted weight so it's a little bit tighter I believe and that's what it looks like when it's all finished and it's good enough just to leave like that you don't need to put anything on top of it all right so here's another technique and this is just to paint the hair on now this is definitely the fastest it's pretty easy but it for the peg dolls and the finger puppets that I'm used to making, it's not one of my favorite techniques. We've gotten so used to having yarn as hair and having it be long and do different styles, either braids or just long hair, a little hat, that I, I just haven't really gotten used to the idea of just painting on the hair. It is fantastic for the little boy peg dolls for sure because their hair is even harder to do with yarn. But I'm just showing you this is one way to do it. I'm just using some Lyra paint and it's very fast. I've come back in with a little bit of a darker brown color just to give her some low lights, but that's about it. Now, I'm not going to keep this doll like this permanently. I'm going to add a little bit of hair over it, which is also an option. All right, let's move on to another style, and this is to make braids. So I just measured off how long I was going to need in order to make one single braid, which will be long enough to do for both sides of her. I'm going to tape down the three strands. Now this is bulky weight, Lamb's Pride. This is wool yarn. And I'm going to just use one strand of yarn for each part of the braid. And then I'm going to tie off the ends using some embroidery thread. And just to make sure that those knots stay in place, I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue right on top of the knot. And this just ensures that it's not going to come apart. So I've made one long braid, which is actually going to go across her head, but it's going to be too bulky this way. And I do plan to have a little hat on her, but it's going to be just too bulky this way. So I'm going to trim the braid in half and I'm going to glue just each half onto the side of the head. And this is a great alternative, but <clears throat> it also means that you're going to have to be really careful about 
making sure that all those strands from the braid are glued in place. I'm going to go ahead and do that to the, to the other side as well, making sure that I get at least a, a bit of each of those strands onto the peg doll and each of those strands has some glue. You just don't want this falling apart once it's once it's all done. Plus, the hot glue really ensures that everything's going to stay in place for a long time. It's very durable. So I went ahead and trimmed off the excess hair on the top, and now I can go ahead and get her little bandana in place. There was a little bit of hot glue still on her head, so it kind of stuck in place, but I just need to go ahead and get those flaps in the back kind of tucked in, and I want to make sure that I'm gluing it directly onto the peg doll and not onto her hair. And that just about does it for this one. So we're going to do one more technique. And this one, um, I just want to show you with a hat, you could just leave the hat all by itself and you could do it with or without a face drawn on. But this time we're going to use some cotton yarn and this is two ply yarn. This is not my favorite yarn to use for hair. It, it doesn't look that natural and it also, the, you, you can see that the yarn has been plied together. <clears throat> so an alternative to using, well, you could still use a two-ply yarn, but an alternative, it would be to unply it yourself, and it will give a nice kind of full, almost frizzy head of hair. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the hair on the same way I did with the earlier, uh, the earlier peg doll with the white hair except now I don't need to put as much in and I don't need to be as careful with how I'm placing the hair because I'm going to be covering it with a headband in the end. So I'm going to go ahead and trim off the excess hair and then I'm going to use that excess hair, that little those little trims, in order to make bangs. And I love doing this. It's super easy and it's a nice little charming way to add a little bit of interest to um, like underneath the bandana. All right, so now we just want to put the bandana in place, and I'm going to just, uh, well, actually, I wanted to change my mind there. I'm going for a lighter yellow first. Just a triangle. It's super easy to make these. Then I'm going to go ahead and put some hot glue right on top of the head and get it all positioned. <clears throat> you do not want to put too much hot glue right on top of the head because it's going to mold the... Uh, the felt on top and you'll be able to kind of see that hard glue underneath the felt so go easy on the glue on the very top of the head but then do be generous you know at least put enough when you're when you're folding down the flaps in the back and I do prefer to add glue right here and fold it all the way down and that's about it for this one those are the four different techniques for doing hair at least for the ones that I use often. I'm going to go ahead and finish off this peg doll with some wings because she is part of a series of peg dolls that all have these wings. Now you can get the pattern to these wings on my website and the link is in the description box below but they're super easy to make. They're basically a heart for the top wings and then kind of like a teardrop for the bottom wings. And that's almost it. I do want to add one more thing to this one, and that's a little bit of bling on her headband. And I'm just using these pearls that are like in the scrapbook section of a craft store. And even though there's adhesive, I'm going to go ahead and add some hot glue to the very top of that just to make sure that it stays in place because these are going to be well played by little children. And that's about it. I really like the way she turned out. Her hair is lovely. I love the, the tone on tone with all the yellow. And that's about it. So don't forget that you can check out the rest of the tutorials in this series. And you can check out the other peg dolls that we made that accompany this one.